A system is the space where we wish to focus our attention and calculations. The space outside the system is known as the surroundings. We refer to the interface between the two as the system boundary. In chemical engineering, the decision on where to place the system may depend on the problem being solved or the available data. The boundary may be placed around a single unit, a few units that may include a recycle, or over the entire process. The space of interest could also be defined as a constant volume or a constant mass system. Here we will look at the example of a piston, but the logic can also be applied to a flow system. In a constant volume system, if the process is compressed, as one example, the volume would remain the same, but matter will cross the system boundary, increasing the pressure. In a constant mass system, all matter in the system remains within the system. No material crosses the system boundary, and using the same compression example, the volume will decrease. Systems can also be defined as open, closed, and isolated. An open system allows material and energy to flow into and out of the system. Most steady-state flow processes are modeled as open systems. The constant volume example earlier would also be an open system, since material crossed the system boundary. A closed system does not allow material to flow into or out of the system. Batch processes are the most common form of a closed system as no material enters or leaves. The constant mass example from before was also a closed system as the system changed to ensure the material was kept inside the boundary. However, heat may still enter or leave a closed system. In an open system, heat could also be added or removed, either directly, as shown here, or through heated material flows. The final type of system, an isolated system, is assumed to be perfectly insulated and does not let matter nor energy enter.